there was that ant that stood up to me. Yeah, but we can forget about him. Yeah, it was just one ant. Ooh. <laughs> one ant. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. It's just one ant. Yeah, boss. They're puny. Hmm, puny? Say, let's pretend this grain is a puny little ant. Did that hurt? <laughs> nope. Well, how about this one? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> how about this? You let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. Do you remember the Dutch farmers? And do you remember their courageous protest last summer? Do you remember how they fought for our freedom? Well, I'm sorry to say it, but I have bad news for you. Our farmers are losing and the Dutch government is winning the fight. They have doubled down on their plans to expropriate 3,000 farms before the year of 2030. They call it expropriation, I call it theft in the name of climate change. And how are they doing this? Well, they're waging a war of attrition against the farmers while simultaneously vilifying them continuously in the media. And that strategy has been proven to be very successful. Whenever I speak to our farmers now, I can tell that they are losing hope. And who could blame them? They've been badgered, intimidated, and vilified. They're afraid to be threatened, arrested, or even shot at again. They are afraid that they have lost the support of the people. The same people they provide with food every single day. There are elections coming up in the Netherlands and we have to show our government who is boss. And our farmers are the only ones that have the manpower to do it. As civilians, we have to stand united with our farmers against the totalitarian forces who want to cut our food supply and take away our rights in order to control us. It is absolutely vital to let our farmers know that they do not stand alone. Let them know you'll support them if they decide to protest again. Let them know. No farmers, no food. Unbridled joy for Caroline van der Plas as her party shook up the Dutch political landscape on Wednesday evening. Founded just four years ago, the BBB is now projected to be the largest party in the Senate. This could mean we will be the biggest party in the Netherlands. This isn't normal, not normal. Well, actually, I do find it normal, but I never expected it. The BBB, or Farmer Citizen Movement, is projected to be the largest party in the Senate, with 15 out of 75 seats. The BBB have rallied against the government's environmental policy since its formation in 2019, especially the government's aims to cut nitrogen emissions in half. The BBB says the problem has been exaggerated and that proposed solutions are unfairly balanced against farmers, leading to the closure of many farms. Rutter's government, in its fourth consecutive term since 2010, has dropped to a 20% approval rating, its lowest in a decade. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to subscribe and visit our channel for more videos on The Second Perspective.